Moritz, can you start by introducing yourself? And uh, I'd like you to start with the very beginning, where you were born. Um, I was born on uh, an island in Germany. It was a uh, former east part of, uh, or east German part of uh, Germany. And uh, it's about 36 years ago. Okay. <laughs> raised there. Yeah. Okay. And um, then you studied uh, art and, and design. Yeah. And uh, and when did you start the uh, self publishing? Um, it was in 2007. Um, Francisca and I uh, somehow stumbled into this phenomena and uh, of self publishing and. Uh, both of us was very uh, inspired by this, uh, yeah, by the whole DIY thing mm -hmm. about uh, really uh, taking care of uh, the whole process from the idea to the final mm -hmm. uh, publication. And uh, yeah, we started uh, to found Gloria Glitzer in Halle. That was also the town where we started mm -hmm. arts and. Uh, I started, I started with graphic design and then swapped into the fine arts and doing a lot of uh, printing techniques. And Francisca studied paintings and yeah. Um, and so what did your first uh, publication look like? Oh, <laughs> the first publication was uh, I think a poster uh, with uh, black and white um, uh, bitmap files. Mm -hmm. It, that looks looks like uh, algorithm producing a, a graphics with arrows <laughs> in it, but it was uh, handmade in Photoshop, drawing pixel by pixel, and uh, mm -hmm. it just dealt with this idea of um, uh, uh, simulate an algorithm or simulate mm -hmm. a computer program that wasn't, uh, but it was completely handmade. Um, okay. And it comes with a small booklet. It was printed on a laser printer at this time, and the poster was folded down. It was an A A one poster folded down to A four, and we still have a few copies. Of this yeah, one. really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the best seller, but uh, it was also a big print run. Yeah. And so, was that already Gloria Gloria Glitzer, or or was it before? Uh, Gloria Glitzer is not mentioned anywhere in the whole publication. Okay. So I think it was before. I can't really remember when exactly we started. And uh, yeah, it didn't mention. And the second publication was one with drawings by Francisca. Mm -hmm. and, and so this um, sort of minimalistic uh, algorithm drawing, mm -hmm. that's, that's what your uh, artworks look like or uh, your publications. Can you tell us a bit about your work and how you make it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm always uh, inspired by uh, the uh, language of uh, scientific drawings or scientific diagrams mm -hmm. and uh, just adopted those to me because uh, um, So are there actual diagrams and algorithms, or are they constructed no, it's, from... it's just the language, it's just mm -hmm. uh, the, the details I use, it's just um, repetition or uh, the uh, very accurate and precise uh, forms uh, of, um, of diagrams, for example, or how it looks like, but uh, it doesn't have any scientific meaning at all. Okay. And so you must be a fan of Saul Lewitt. Yeah, yeah, we are. We, uh, <laughs> uh, we did a publication or, or a dedicated publication to his... Yeah. Actually, it was his more photographic work, but mm -hmm. uh, in the end it was the brick wall. Okay. Uh, we did a, uh, yeah, but his work often appears in... Uh, or uh, quotations of his work mm -hmm. uh, uh, often appears in uh, our books as well. Yeah. So the first 
project that you started is Gloria Glitzer. Mm. Uh, you were telling me that next year it will be 10 years um, of yeah. Gloria Glitzer. Can you show us a, a couple of publications? Uh, um, yeah, sure. Uh, I can show you, uh, as we have a Rezo Studio, maybe mm -hmm. it should start with the Rezo publication, because this is the first publication we printed on the Rezograph mm -hmm. uh, machine. Um, it's called Deal with Roy, and it was a uh, homage to Roy Lichtenstein. Mm -hmm. Because when we uh, had the Rezo machine, it was quite obvious uh, to work uh, with rasters and, um, um, yeah, in the end, it's a publication with uh, very, uh, with a lot of uh, half tone rasterizations mm -hmm. and uh, quotations. Uh, these were quotes by uh, Roy Lichtenstein, most of them were quotes by Roy Lichtenstein, some uh, are quotes we just, um, uh, yeah, we just uh, mm -hmm. um, invented. Okay. <laughs> and um, the thing is, whenever he said uh, arts, we put in puff uh, instead, mm -hmm. or the word puff instead, and um, Book with a lot of uh, mm -hmm. grids, uh, a lot of half towers with So that's the and first inside drawings as well that you published with the Rezo machine. That's the first we published with the Rezo machine. And I think it's the first uh, publication where we really did a conceptual artsy. Mm -hmm. See, okay. Others uh, are artsy as well, but more basically with. Graphics background. Mm -hmm. This one was so. That's yeah. something that you did with Franci uh, Francisca, and this is the collaboration between the two of you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's in the end the part. Mm -hmm. That's all about. Um, yeah, uh, we collaborate a lot with publications, mm -hmm. and uh, often it works like that. But somebody, uh, one of us has uh, an idea uh, to work on, and then. Both of us uh, think about how to realize, and uh, then we do the graphics together. And I do the printing, and together we do the collating and binding mm -hmm. and everything. And uh, yeah, but it's uh, difficult to um, uh, to draw a border uh, mm -hmm. who did what part because we okay. can just grow um, together because brainstorming is yes, something we do together, and uh, yeah, the idea it varies. Sometimes Francisca has ideas, most uh, often she has the better, better <laughs> ideas, uh, but uh, yeah, it grows together. And, and um, can you show, show us the other publications of Gloria Glitzer that you selected? Yeah, I selected the constructs. This is an older one and more graphics one. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one I did. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's uh, actually it's prints from uh, letter set. Mm -hmm. so I work yeah. a lot of with uh, with letter set, but not with type, more with uh, graphical details. Or I just build graphic uh, um, figures or uh, abstract constructions uh, from uh, letter set. And mm -hmm. It's combined with um, uh, computer drawings as well. Okay, and um, completely made for the Rezo. Okay, plays a lot of with uh, a lot with space, and that's why uh, it's reprinted on a very thin Bible print paper, mm -hmm. so-called Bible print paper, because you can see through the through the pages mm -hmm. uh, over uh, several layers. It builds up a room with a. Nice. So when did you choose to work with the uh, Rezo printing? Um, it, actually, um, I think it's um, the starting point was uh, the point that every uh, student of an or yeah every student of an art school has. You do your degree, you uh, finish school, you leave school, and uh, at, with this point, you don't have access to any. Of the workshops of the um, of the school anymore, and uh, at this point you really you really you really realize the loss that you have, and mm -hmm. um, 
uh, we experience the same and we're looking uh, a lot for um, uh, graphic reproduction techniques that's um, very easy to access and also um, very compact because uh, it was impossible to afford a real uh, uh, complete infrastructure like for example screen printing I did a lot of screen printing for my degree and uh, so this so was, was the first way. direction I I looked at, but I didn't found anything that was possible, and it was also for me always uh, no solution to go to one of those shared spaces because mm -hmm. you always pay very low, but uh, at least you pay an amount uh, for every day to use the um, the machines or the papers or the uh, materials, and this puts me always under such a pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, yes, yes. That it you wanted was, to be free. And, yeah, and that it was impossible to just uh, test or just uh, yeah. Go and so it was a, a way to have a result that would be somehow similar to a sales screen, but uh, in a very compact uh, way of uh, working. Yeah. The thing is uh, that's risograph when it. When I first saw uh, risograph prints, it reminds me to uh, more lithography, mm -hmm. to the stone printing. Okay. And uh, because this is also something I did a lot uh, during my uh, my time at school, uh, at art school, and um, uh, and on the other hand, uh, the riso has a lot to do with screen printing. So preparing the files mm -hmm. is. Com com uh, can compare uh, to screen printing okay. because also a stencil that's produced and so on. So it was actually the perfect machine that was very compact. Mm -hmm. It was just a uh, yeah. one by one square meter. And and s soon after you invested in a machine, uh, you started printing for others. Or you know, the first two years we didn't. We we bought a Rezo very cheap and on eBay, mm -hmm. like I think most of the people bought their first machine. And the first two years we spent at uh, Franziska's studio and uh, there we printed a lot of stuff. Also a lot of uh, stationary stuff and uh, our first artist books and art scenes. Um, but uh, most of the time just for us, because we wanted to know the technique. Uh, very well on the machine, very well, and how to how it works, and then later um, mm -hmm. we moved on. And also, um, yes, you you use the the term artisans, and mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to to meet you because you created uh, uh, artisans.de. Uh, mm -hmm. Why did you choose to use this term, and what does it stand for for you? Uh, this term. Um, I think zines, uh, art zines, um, that's difficult. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> all the time I did the blog, uh, I uh, was always interested as well in uh, how people define art zines for mm -hmm. themselves because there wasn't uh, one definition mm -hmm. that everybody uses or that, that's kind of a uh, starting point. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, so maybe I think I, it's more about uh, that uh, you're in, that the artist is involved in the process mm -hmm. and doing it, but it doesn't mean that he has to do everything from the beginning to the mm -hmm. end. Okay. I think it's just cheaply made and mm -hmm. also sold for a very reasonable price. Mm -hmm. or low price. And also maybe you, your goal uh, and your idea of art since through doing this blog that carried a lot of uh, in, mm. uh, useful information also about fairs and, and people who were mm. doing that. Maybe the idea behind art is also the, the, the network and um, putting people in contact. Uh, the community. Yeah, actually, yes. Actually, this was a starting point because uh, there were a lot of open calls at this time, but there wasn't uh, a platform or, uh, or a website where to find out because often you accidentally stumbled over uh, an exhibition, open call, a fair or whatever. And the idea was to have a website where uh, I can bring together uh, all those information mm -hmm. and 
just to um, have a starting point for the people who are interested in mm -hmm. publishing artist books, artist okay. publications. So we've talked about Laura Glitzer, we've talked about Arts in the DE, <laughs> and now we are standing in your um, studio slash shop slash print shop slash uh, no, not shop. Not, not shop. shop. You're no. not selling your. Uh, we're selling our own stuff, but it uh, doesn't okay. uh, happen that often. <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> it's and called so uh, We Make It. And when did you open? Five years ago, I think you said. Uh, five years ago, yeah. After uh, we spent two years with the risograph machine, mm -hmm. um, uh, we thought we had to open, set up a shop. And Because uh, uh, when we started in Halle, we had a gallery together with uh, eight other artists. It was called Die Schöne Stadt. And we really enjoyed to do exhibitions. And uh, the idea of we make it was <coughs> to have a hybrid, to have a studio, to have an office, to have a uh, an exhibition space um, and a print shop as well. Mm -hmm. So everything comes together in this, or was manifested in this uh, room. Mm -hmm. And later, the uh, I think half a year later, the uh, library comes. Mm -hmm. uh, comes to this as well. So we make it is also the name of you uh, uh, as a printer. And uh, did you prepare something, some stuff that you printed uh, for others? Oh, no, we don't have this. Uh, all <laughs> our stuff we print for. Uh, we printed. Uh, this is oh, there's one I right here. <laughs> very quickly, it's a photo uh, lean by uh, mm -hmm. JB mm -hmm. uh, Institute. It's a photography from uh, analog photo photography taken uh, from a car. And um, um, traveling uh, through the US, and I think it was a homage to a work by uh, Lee Friedlander, okay. uh, who did the 29 pounds by car. So this is something that you did not publish, but just printed for yeah, for, uh, for the artist directly? Or? For the artist, yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. It was directly for the artist. And, um, this is another one. It's uh, more illustration mm -hmm. uh, by uh, Anne Becker. Mm -hmm. I think it was a degree. Okay. It's very lovely made and yeah, it's wow. something we really enjoy to have. Uh, yeah. but then we do a lot of artist prints as well, uh, art prints as well, poster for uh, exhibition at Neuburti Town in Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for Bergheim. Yeah, and for, for people who don't know, so it works like cell screen, so you have to print each time for each color, and each color is uh, separated in the, in the picture. There also exist two color machines uh, on the oh. uh, uh, two color reason machines, but mm -hmm. we have only one color machine. We, we believe in one color. <laughs> yeah. It makes more work, uh, but uh, I think it's. Uh, I have the feeling that I can con have much more control mm -hmm. than with uh, two color machines. And um, and then when you started this place. Um, you participated in, in a lot of fairs as Gloria Glitzer, and maybe yeah. you, you traded or bought a lot of uh, Rizzo printed uh, uh, publications, and that's how your archive started? Uh, it's beginning, beginning yes. Uh, I, we have at home a, a huge uh, art scene, artist books collection, mm -hmm. and um, uh, the starting point was uh, to buy uh, two copies of uh, each Rizzo book I was interested in, and then, uh, yeah, that's how the uh, library started. Okay. And, uh, at the beginning we bought a lot, and then we swapped a lot, and now we get a lot of donation and still swap a lot. Mm -hmm. and it's, and uh, so, can you show us uh, some stuff from uh, the the collection? Uh, yeah, and it's called uh, Herbarium Rizzo. Herbarium Rizzo, yeah. Why is it called like that? Uh, <laughs> I think we we like the idea of uh, the herbarium uh, mm -hmm. of have this collection of uh, fiber plants. Mm -hmm. of, uh, yeah. Uh, 
plans uh, and uh, also to because we really like uh, I, we both had to do it in school I don't know if everybody had to do it in school uh, we both had to <laughs> and we really liked uh, how uh, to, how the, the flowers were threatened mm -hmm. they were uh, put uh, between two pages and uh, put some pressure on it and later um, and maybe it was somehow it. your first act of publishing of making a book maybe <laughs> but it was only one copy yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe accidentally published a book yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so and we li I liked the idea of this fragile uh, mm -hmm. um, Object. It's, uh, yeah, and it's rare somehow specimen that you have to, to keep and take care yeah. of. That was the main idea. So this one, yeah. for example, is, is very delicate and, and rare. It's a uh, publication can... by Ross Books. Um, it's also done by uh, Son Ni. She's mm -hmm. the um, founder of Ross Books and also the person who's in charge of it. Mm -hmm. um, it's also reason printed, sure. A um, lot of uh, in, in gold and black. In gold and black, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's called travel, and obviously it's about uh, a golden ball or a golden okay. um, uh, yeah, this golden yeah. ball uh, traveling. Mm -hmm. around and yeah, it's, it's very beautiful yeah it's uh, paper looks a bit newspaper print like and um, but it's um, yeah very yeah. thin but very delicate mm -hmm. uh, especially with the oh it's a pasta oh let's all get come okay. okay. yeah genau das ist das hier gekommen alles klar danke <laughs> and this one was published uh, by her? Yeah, this is another publication she did. It's also. But that's case, not her work? No, not only. In this case, it's uh, her work. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Son mm -hmm. Son's work. And in this case, it's uh, the work of her and uh, the artist published uh, at his uh, mm -hmm. um, um, publishing house. And so it's, it's like uh, a file. Yeah, it's like a file, and it's, yeah, you can read it like an artist file because every artist has uh, three to four pages, and there's also um, a register on the side where you can see the, the names of all the artists. And it's printed both on tracing paper and uh, some other kind yeah, of paper. It's laser printed on tracing paper and uh, riso printed on. Uh, um, also very delicate, um, mm -hmm. one of those delicate uh, Taiwanese papers, and the cover is printed in offset. Okay. So. Oh. And I have a, 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 a question about this one, because it's uh, literature. Yeah. And so it's printed in black and white. And so why why would you print uh, black and white in Rizzo when it could be printed in regular photocopy? Um, I think there are different uh, uh, issues. I think one is uh, that it's. Um, uh, I think this is a low print run of one hundred. Mm. Okay. You do with the Rizzo very low print runs, and. Um, I think it haptics on one side. Uh, on uh, one side, mm -hmm. that you want to have uh, a good, uh, very nice rough paper, and also mm -hmm. ink that's very uh, that works very good with the type and with the paper. Uh, and that's something you can't have, for example, with digital print because mm -hmm. digital printed uh, books often looks. Uh, uh, the black ink is a bit glossy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so there's uh, the special touch and uh, yeah, mm. and it's not so uh, from the haptics not so interesting. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, it's also the access that you have um, access to the machine mm -hmm. and just do everything on your own okay. without being uh, uh, without messing around with an online printer or. Uh, mm -hmm. 
with a print house or everything. And I think it's also the money issue because when you do everything your own, you don't have to pay that much. Maybe except for uh, the time you spend okay. for the publication. Is there something else you want to add? Uh, oh. Uh, about what? <laughs> <laughs> Life and stuff and publishing and uh, why do you think people choose to print in Rezo? Uh, I didn't ask any questions about yeah. the, the colors and, and uh, the fact that it's mostly uh, um, you know, uh, drawing based and mm. this kind of thing. I think the thing doing Rezo is it's, it's quick. Mm -hmm. You have so your results very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And um, it's easy to access. It's um, also very compact. You just need mm -hmm. this machine, and uh, you don't need a lot of space for this machine. And um, it's also what was most important to me was uh, how it looks like. It looks really uh, not uh, like a uh, Xerox print or like an. Uh, offset print it mm -hmm. looks something out of time a bit. Okay, but yeah. Perfect.